Good morning and welcome to News Superfast. I'm Nolan Pinto. Now the 32-member JDS MLAs have left for Sri Lanka for a brainstorming session. The MLAs will return on the 19th of June. Now they left from Kempegowda International Airport at 3 in the morning. Now they will think of reworking with the principles of the party and how it can be made into a much more potent force. The speculations are, however, that Kumar Swami is trying to fight divisiveness in the party, especially after its bad show in the last Lok Sabha elections. However, Kumar Swami has denied all these rumors. In fact, uh, 45 members of the Janta Dal Secular, led by senior party members, left for Colombo, Sri Lanka. At around uh, 3 this morning, they include party leader H.T. Kumar Swami and B.Z. Zamir Ahmed, along with N. Chaluvaraya Swami and MLAs. Now, the members would formulate a strategy for the future that could help steer the party, which faced a drubbing in the Lok Sabha elections. Now, this is what a party spokesperson stated. Eight members have opted not to go to Colombo as the elections to the Legislative Council from the teachers and graduates' constituencies are scheduled for Friday. Now, they include H.T. Remana, Baswaraj Horati and Manjunath Gowda, along with YSV Datta. Now, the trip to Colombo is being justified on the grounds that it's cheaper than going to New Delhi and will be a place where second-line leaders will not disturb the members. In fact, uh, last week, uh, H.T. Kumar Swamy, former chief minister, had stated that the trip to Sri Lanka was party-sponsored and no individual had a role in sponsoring it. Now, a youth was brutally murdered in Wilson Garden. The victim has been identified as Srinivas, who hails from Chantpatna. Now, Srinivas has been working in Bengaluru and was engaged in the resale of bikes. He had recently entered the real estate business. Srinivas had shifted his residence from Wilson Garden to Kyarpuram 10 days ago. Now, he got a call at around 9 last night and was asked by someone to meet him or meet them at Wilson Garden. When an unsuspecting Srinivas reached the seventh cross, he was attacked by miscreants and hacked to death. Well, as of now, the Wilson Garden police have registered a case and are investigating. The youth was brutally murdered in Wilson Garden late last night. The victim has been identified as Srinivas, who hails from Chenpatna. Now, Srinivas was working in Bengaluru for the past uh, few years. He was engaged in the resale of bikes. He had recently entered into the real estate business. Now, Srinivas had shifted his residence from Wilson Garden to Kyarpuram just 10 days ago. Now, last night at around 9, he got a call and was asked by someone to meet them at Wilson Garden. In an unsuspecting Srinivas Street 7 cross in Wilson Garden, he was attacked by miscreants and hacked to death. Wilson Garden police have registered a case and are now investigating. Well, four people were assaulted in KG Halli for questioning a gang with regards to selling ganja in the area. Now, ganja was being sold by a gang of 10 near a mosque in KG Halli. 
Sean, Razak, Altaf and another person confronted the gang and asked them to leave the place. The gang followed the four people and then attacked them. Sean was injured brutally in the attack and had to be admitted to Victoria Hospital. The KG Halli police have registered a case and are also investigating the same. Four people were assaulted in KG Halli for questioning a gang with regards to selling ganja in the area. Ganja was being sold by a gang of 10 near a mosque in KG Halli. Shan, Razak, Altaf and another person confronted the gang and asked them to leave the place. The gang then followed the four people and attacked them. Shan was injured brutally in the attack and had to be admitted to Victoria Hospital. The KG Halli police have now registered a case and are investigating. <laughs> so you can see uh, one of the uh, men who was uh, injured in this particular attack and all they did was ask the gang of 10 who were selling and smoking ganja near a mosque in KG Halli. Now, while they were returning home, the gang followed them, attacked them. In fact, uh, one of the boys who is brutally attacked, he's now been admitted to Victoria Hospital. <laughs> All these men did was to ask the gang of 10 to stop smoking and selling ganja near a mosque. What we're told is while they were returning, the gang attacked them from behind. While three of them sustained minor injuries, the fourth person sustained serious injuries. He was shifted to Victoria Hospital for more treatment. Now, the protests in Mandur have entered its 16th day. The district in charge minister, Ramlinga Reddy, held talks with the villagers over the matter, but it ended in failure once again. Now, the residents of Mandur said that they wouldn't settle for anything other than a written statement from the government that no more garbage would be dumped in the village. The district in charge minister has said that the BBMP needs five more months to find an alternative to which the villagers disagreed and asked the chief minister to come to the village to take stock of the situation himself.
In fact, the protests in Mandur have now entered its 16th day. The district in charge minister Ramlinga Reddy held talks with the villagers over the matter, but it ended in failure. The residents of Mandur said that they wouldn't settle for anything other than a written statement from the government that no more garbage would be dumped in the village. Now, the district in charge minister has said that BBMP needs five more months to find an alternative, to which the villagers disagreed and asked the chief minister to come to the village to take stock of the situation. Now initially, the villagers have started to protest, but then Section 144 was imposed by the government in order to gump, dump uh, garbage over there. But uh, that did not stop the villagers. And uh, one Section 144 was revoked. You can once more see the villagers sitting over there in an all-night vigil. Women, children, men, everybody is over there. In fact, uh, not just villagers staying near Mandur landfill, but even the surrounding villagers are taking part in this protest. Day in and day out, they're actually protesting to make sure that the government or the BBMP does not dump garbage over here. And you can clearly see them all awake at the protest site, singing songs in order to build their morale. Now, the chief minister did have a meeting with the representatives uh, of Mandur, basically villagers from there, along with government officials, but that meeting failed. I told that district in charge minister Ramlinga Reddy also spoke to the villagers, but the villagers wanted a written statement to which the government could not do so. The government wants five to six months, but the villagers are adamant they do not want any garbage to be dumped in the, at the Mandur landfill. <laughs> Now, moving